My name is Leila. I'm a mother of two children who are Dutch. I am here without a status, which is weird. That's another story. So we were homeless for six months. We were struggling to find a place. I don't make enough money to pay rent. Um, people don't want to sublet. We were forced in the streets and the only people who helped us were the so-called crackers, that's squatters in English. And we squatted a house. The house was empty for five years. It was in terrible condition. But we were happy to live here because otherwise we were in the street. Now, two weeks after we squatted it, we found out we have to move out because the bank is losing money. The bank is the owner of the house. In the end, we decided to have an action, an action preventing the police from emptying the house. And now my house holds uh, guests, about 11 of them, who are having a breakfast and waiting for the police or the new owners of the house to come and claim it. And we shall resist and hope to stay. What well, is the situation? Well, legally the situation is bad because uh, money wins, even in law, <coughs> which is obviously not based on moral. But we hope with the publicity and with the help of people, we can get this done. Well, the problem in Holland is that, among other laws it breaches, it breaches a major law about mother and child right to be together. I was not given a status, even though I have two Dutch children, or I was married to a Dutch man, which leaves me without permit either of staying or to work. So I'm not allowed to work, which means my income, if I make such, is too low to pay rent. In the meantime, I cannot apply for social house because I don't exist in a system. Despite being the mother and the full caretaker of these two children, I am not allowed to act on their behalf. So I'm not allowed to ask for a house. This way I cannot be on the list. And may I ask, uh, what the father does to help them? Uh, on uh, he did everything possible not to mm -hmm. help us. He is afraid to pay money to his children. He is afraid to pay for the fact that I am now illegal in this country, which is his fault, negligence. And not only he disappeared, but before doing such, he mailed letters to the Ministry of Justice and spread stories that he is not willing to take care of the children because because they were forcefully made to him, uh, which means in this country I don't get any help either. They're defending now his side, claiming that I made these children to stay in this country. So I cannot make myself legal, and the father has contributed greatly to that. Well, the way I was told is that we take care of the Dutch children, not of their mother. To which I replied, but children are happy with the mother, they're united with their mother, there's no better thing for a child than a stable of mother, course. and they're obviously healthy, happy, and very attached to me. They said, it's not in our law, and our law is to protect the Dutch children, under which we shall take them away from you, and you have to sort your life out, and then you can have your children back. Of course, I run away. <laughs> Yeah, it's insane it's, yeah. uh, to think that a house is better for a child than its own parent. The only parent, they're already hurt enough by their father being gone. No, here it doesn't exist. The care for the, what is best for the child or for the mother or for a spouse does not exist. Families are nothing but banknotes and if there's not enough banknotes then it's not worth enough. <clears throat> the house is a beautiful Victorian house which is definitely monumental, we're working on that. So, under any law, it has to be either rebuilt in the same condition as it is or have a permit to be demolished. It doesn't have either. So, they are acting upon just simple desire to move us out without any plans for the future of rebuilding this house. In fact, I did propose that we leave as soon as there is a permit without any struggle at all, but they just want us out. Once again, it's taxpayers' money which created this bank in the first place, I don't think they would appreciate knowing that the bank is spending their money on putting out people in the street, especially mother with children. In so the, the bank is being greedy. So. It, it's just about money, it's not mm -hmm. about plans for the house. It will be eviction for emptiness, which is again, I thought, illegal. <laughs> What's happening is that Fortis Bank has officially sold it to new owners, but has not given it to them yet, as in the key. And the new owners are demanding that the house is empty, else the bank has to pay them 80,000 euros. So they're both suing us now because the new owners want the house empty. Nobody knows what for. They're not a married couple. They're not expecting kids. They're just business partners. Um, they don't need it. Really, they don't.
or if they need it, it's for some criminal activity. <laughs> Mm -hmm. There's okay. nothing better yeah. to think, yeah. Well, it's a very bad Options. situation mm -hmm. because, uh, first of all, I'm without papers here. So the foreign police is trying to deport me, which is also illegal. <laughs> and the child protection services want to take my children away, which is also illegal. So there are two breaches of my rights, but they're legally um, executed in this country because nobody protects me. So the only option I will have is to take my children and run again and hide somewhere until uh, better things are happening and we find another home. And uh, how you can find uh, another home? Uh, of course, what? through the uh, cracks break you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't trust anybody else. Every uh -huh. landlord who uh, promised that there wouldn't be any harassment has harassed me sexually. I had uh, lost three houses within three months because within a week of living there, I would be sexually harassed or approached in an appropriately way. So I don't want to deal with that anymore. And rents in the houses where you stay alone too expensive. My children are going to school here, uh, their social network is here, they were born here, their father was born here, their grandmother and great-grandmother were born here in Amsterdam. And we have an extended network of friends and support and it would be very dramatic to them to move out of this country and especially this city. So I don't have any better options at the moment than keeping them safe here. So 15 uh, February, it would be another day, like it when you meet people in, when, when inside. You need people to gather together mm -hmm. this time seriously, not just 10 people for breakfast, but in large quantities to show support because legally we cannot win this. We can only win this by intimidation. As bad as it sounds, but that's how it works because they're trying to intimidate us now with legal paperwork. Well, it's, it seems like the right thing to do. I mean, first, we are trying to fight a greedy bank. And second, we are trying to protect a family of mother with two little children from becoming homeless in the middle of the winter, in the freezing cold. So those seem to me reasons enough to come.